Hallelujah, praise the name Jesus. Uh, just want to give y'all uh, just a quick word. You know, I put on my heart to give at this specific time and hour and day and year. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into the scriptures. Uh, it's going to be found in Matthew chapter 7, verse number 21. Uh, before I speak, I just want to let you know that, you know, we got a lot of hypocrisy going on, you know, when it comes to the church, because a lot of people who claim it to be Christians, behavior is not matching the Christian, but it's matching the devil. But I'm going to go ahead and save this for, you know, the scripture and let the scripture go ahead and talk. Said Matthew chapter 7 verse 21 Verse 21 says Not everyone that said unto me Lord, Lord Shall enter the kingdom of heaven It said But he that doeth the will of my father Which is in heaven Okay So verse number 21 letting us know That not everyone That said unto me Lord, Lord So that means that everybody that's professing the name of Jesus Christ that wears his name, Jesus. It says that they shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. So, Brother Ford, what you're saying? Thank you for asking. Let me let you know. He says, everybody who's claiming Jesus, mm -hmm, they not going to enter the kingdom of heaven so if, if you sit around and think about this you think about people who go on the church they singing in choirs you know they 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 preaching you know they evangelize they feeding the homeless and these are people who in prison ministries i mean you got all these people in a deacon board amen you got all these people that's Professing the name Jesus, even the people that's on the streets, you know, you know, witnessing and preaching and, and people just witnessing the name Jesus, you know, it says that they shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. You gotta sit around and think about this. These are people who are dedicating their lives to Christ. You know, people who are taking their time out to spread his word, but still not gonna enter his kingdom. Ain't that something? Like we go to a job, thank you, Holy Ghost. When you go to a job, you expecting after your, you know, after your time you put in that you're gonna get paid. <laughs> mm -hmm. So if you working out them hours and they told you you get paid every two weeks, and then that you know, you know, did your time, and now it's time for payday to come, and you don't get paid, you'll be disappointed, won't you? Well, it's gonna be a lot of disappointed people. On judgment day. Because they're going to put in all this work. <laughs> all this preaching. All this singing. Got people falling out. They're up there yelling. They're up there passing out flyers. Amen. For their church. They're up there feeding the home. They're doing all these works for Jesus. And yet. They still not go in the kingdom of heaven. But let's keep reading and we'll see why. Verse Okay, let's go. He said, but he that do it the will of my father, mm -hmm, which is in heaven. So we see that the only one who going to enter the kingdom of heaven is those who doing the will of the father. Now, a lot of people don't even know what the will of the father. A lot of people is not even doing his will. Doing God's will is not confessing the sinner's prayer. Doing his will is not going and shaking the pastor's hand. Amen. Doing God's will is not just a bunch of talk. Amen. Claiming I'm a Christian, but yet your works don't show that you're a Christian. Amen. The will of the Father is simply this. Let's go to John chapter number 6, verse number 40. This is what, what the will of the Father is, according to the word of God. Amen. He said, and this is the will of him that sent me. So Jesus let you know, this is the will of the Father. Because the Father sent Jesus. Amen. He said, this is the will of him that sent me. That everyone which seeth the Son... And believe it on him may have everlasting life. 
and I will raise him up on the last day. So we see that we have to believe on Jesus. The Bible says in John chapter 3 verse 16 that God so loved the world that he gave his own begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish mm -hmm, but have everlasting life. So that's the will of the Father as we see in the scripture. And he said that on the last day he gonna raise you up meaning that he going to give you everlasting life on the last day on judgment day. So we see that the will of the Father is to believe in Jesus. Amen. But let me break it all the way down because a lot of people are thinking that because they since they claim that mm -hmm, that they believe in Jesus that it's all they take. It's just a bunch of words. Oh, I believe in Jesus. Oh, that mean that I'm saved. Now, the will of the Father which I just feel power right now. The will of the Father is simply as you believe on Jesus. Amen. The Bible says that whoever shall believe it and baptized shall be saved. But who shall believe it not shall be down. So we see that we got to after we believe we got to get baptized in water, amen. This is down to that wicked man. This is down to that sinful nature, amen. And we also got to receive the Holy Ghost. The Bible told you that in Acts chapter 2 verse 38 to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, amen. So you got to understand, you got to have those two things in order to enter the kingdom of God. Because you want to know why? Because the Bible says in Romans chapter 14 verse 17, thank you Jesus, it said that the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but it's righteousness, amen, and it's joy, and it's peace, and it's up in the Holy Ghost. Go look in your Bible, you will see it. So if the kingdom of God is in the Holy Ghost, and Jesus came to repent, and believe the gospel, if we can enter this kingdom, we first got to be filled with the Holy Ghost. So let me start off again. So when you believe on Jesus, amen, to order you for to get saved, you don't get saved by saying no sinner's prayer. That's not the gospel, but that's another gospel, amen. That's that false doctrine that got people stumbling and still in sin. It can't deliver you because it's not the truth, amen. Thank you, Jesus, because the truth can only make you free. So we see that in order to get saved, you must get baptized in water, amen, and that's you die to your sinful nature and rising up alive in Jesus Christ and followed by that you must receive the Holy Ghost. If you ain't done those two things, you are not even say you still of the world, amen. Because it ought to be in God's kingdom. Because a lot of people say, I'm in the kingdom of God. Well, how are you in the kingdom of God when you ain't even got the Holy Ghost? When the Bible simply said, For the kingdom of God is righteousness, joy, and peace up in the Holy Ghost. Look at Romans chapter 14, verse 17. Started to show thyself approved. If you come with that false mess, I'm gonna rebuke you. Matter of fact, I'm not gonna respond because that's a babe in Christ. You just don't know what the word said. But I'm giving you what's written in the Bible, and you can find that in there. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So you got to understand that if you haven't done those two things, you ain't got baptized in water and received the Holy Ghost, you are not even saved. I know your pastor told you different, but he is a liar. Amen. The Bible warns you that false prophets is going to come up in the last days. I just feel the Holy Ghost right now. And then the Bible says in verse number 22, he said, many would say to me, hold on, let me back up. I'm about to read a little read in verse number 21. So after you get saved, by getting baptized and warranty the Holy Ghost because you're in the kingdom of God once you receive his spirit you must live holy the Bible says follow peace and hold it for without no man should see the Lord so you got to be peaceful and holy, amen. You can't be a hell raising and call a Christian. You got to be peaceful with everybody, thank you, Lord. And you got to be holy, man. You got to live separate from the world, which means to be in sin. So since you call yourself a Christian, you don't even supposed to look like the world. Matter of fact, you're going to be opposite of the world. If the world fornicate, you're not going to be fornicate, thank you, Lord. If they commit adultery, you're not going to be committing adultery. Why? Because you're not of the world, because you have come from among them, and you don't be separate, and you have touched no unclean thing, and the Lord has received you. So that's what a Christian is. It's somebody who is living separate from the world. You can't say that you're a Christian when you still living and doing the things of the world because you're not separate but you fitting in. Thank you Lord. But when you live separate from the world, you don't do what they do because you holy. Amen. That means that you're without sin. You're not living in sin. If you're still in sin, the Bible says whoever commits sin is a devil. If you're in sin, it don't matter how you preaching. I don't matter what kind of title you got. Bishop, apostle, you still the devil according to the word of God so you got to first of all get delivered and through the gospel 
through the truth, it's going to make you free if you want to be free. You don't got to stay bound. I'm free. You can be free. If I don't have to be bound because you bound. People think because they in sin that you got to stay in sin. Now, if you want to be bound, you can stay bound. But I'm not going to hell, so I'm going to stay free. And I'm going to stand on the truth because it's made me free. And I love, I don't know about you, but I love being free. Amen. It's nothing like being free from sin. Thank you, Jesus. Verse number 22 says, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord. Now, this is the day that a lot of people is not going to be prepared for. Because the Bible told us to strive to end at the straight gate. For many will try to and won't be able. Because it will let us know that only few are going to be saved. So if few people are going to be saved, that means that if you look around the church world, everybody that's have the title of a Christian, they're not going to make it in. It's only few going to be saved. So that means everybody you see in church that sit by you, or you look at the past, everybody in the church you see is not even, first of all, not even saved. They're not even going to even be saved. Because that's the reality of the gospel. He, it just let us know. Because everything has so, the real thing, and then it has the fake. If you look at George, you got the real Jordan shoe, and then you got an imitation Jordan shoe. You know, when the symbol is turned back, whatever you want to put it. So you got something. You always got a cop or something, and you got the original, and then you got the false one. It's just like the gospel. You, you got the real Christian, and then you got the false convert. Which, one, which the ones the Bible calls hypocrites. That means pretenders. Means they not even the Christian. So you got the one who really truly living this life, living free from sin, and the one who's claiming Jesus, but they still living in sin. That's the false Christian. Amen. You can get mad at me, but I'm just telling the truth. If you hate me, the Bible told them, bless. Bless those who are persecuted. For righteous sake, for there's the kingdom of God. So by people hate me, they let me know that I'm blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Verse number 22 said, Man would say to me in that day on judgment day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name cast out devils. And in thy name done many wonderful works. Now what this showing you is a lot. These are people who are saying, Lord, you know, they are trying to explain themselves now. As they had all this time after the gospel being preached, after the truth was being preached, and yet they still want to reject it. Can't nobody be perfect. We all got our hangups, all that kind of crazy stuff that's not in the Bible. They gonna be these are the ones who are gonna be saying, Lord, Lord, they'll be trying to explain themselves. Lord, I was singing in a choir, Lord. I was fasting, thank you, Jesus. And Lord, I was in the streets. Passing out food, amen. I paid people bills when it was low, Lord. I did all these works for you. These are people who be doing it. Lord, I cast out devils. I was prophesying. I was doing these works for you. I took out days to work just to go, go to the Bible study. Yo, these aren't going to be the people who are trying to explain themselves now because time not ran down and it's too late now. And verse number 23 signifies what that means. In verse 23, he say, and then will I profess unto them. So after they telling him, Lord, I was doing this, they're trying to explain themselves. They're trying to find a solution. They're trying to find an excuse to talk to him in order to get into the kingdom of heaven. They're trying to find an excuse. But my brothers and sisters, it's no excuse. The only way you're going to escape judgment is through the gospel. By doing the will of the Father. By believing in the name of Jesus Christ. Getting baptized in water and see the Holy Ghost and live a holy, which means to be a little separate from the world, which means to live completely free from sin. That's the only way you get me. Because people are going to try to explain and try to, Lord, I was doing this and try to find every excuse that they're doing now to sin. But once the gospel being preached, the Bible says that this gospel must be preached among all nations and then it ain't going to come. So it ain't like you ain't going to know. You, you hear the word, you just rejecting it. So since you're doing that, verse number 23 is going to fit for you. And then I'll profess unto them, I never knew you. Wait a minute. So, Lord, so wait a minute. So, brother, for you, so you're telling me. That I'm a bishop right now in my church. I got all these members, all these thousands of members, and I'm not gonna make it in. Well, it ain't me, bro, my brother or sister. According to the Bible, it says that profession to them, I never knew you, though apart from me, you work over niggas. The reason why you're not gonna make it in because of all the works you did, you still not gonna make it in, it's simply because you chose to live in sin. You didn't want to depart from sin. When he told you that everybody that named the name Jesus to depart from iniquity, that means depart from your sin. If you're gonna name this name, which signifies wholeness, you gotta be whole. You can't claim the name, but you don't live the life that the name requires. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I just feel it. So, what you gotta do. 
do is when you claim this name, you gotta live what this name tells you to live. If he say to be holy, you gotta be holy. If he tell you to be perfect, which means to be sinless, that's what you gotta be. Because if you don't, you gonna hear him tell you to depart from him. He never even knew you. So, so you know how hurt it is to have a friend for so long that you thought you knew. I done had the experience. You thought you knew this person. This person said they'll never cross you and all this stuff. You just thought that you knew them. And all of a sudden, now I know where it just came out. It just turned to this other person and just left you. They denied you like they never even knew you. So all this time I was hanging with this person, they denied me. That's the, that's a hurtful feeling. You know, so that's somebody who you got love for. You know, somebody who you who you put your trust in and who you thought that would be there for you. And they end up turning on you and you hurt. Well, it's going to be a lot of feelings hurt on Judgment Day. A lot of professing Christians who thought they was going to be saved because they listened to some fault that got a hold of some false doctrine that told them that they saved because they said a sinner's prayer or because they got baptized and, you know, Jesus, and, and uh, once saved, I always say, mean, I could just live in sin. Jesus covered all. He died. All them people, their feelings going to be hurt. I'm telling you, you one of them right now, your feelings going to be hurt if you believe that because he going to tell you he never knew you because the Bible said his sheep hear his voice. They don't follow no strangers, but when, when they hear his voice, they mean the truth. They mean somebody preaching this and somebody talking to you. You gonna hear his voice. You gonna know the truth or not, and you only gonna take heed to the truth, and you gonna obey what the Bible says. If, if the Bible said to be holy, you gonna agree. Only hypocrite would disagree with being holy to mean live, to be free from sin. If a person say you have to be perfect, be perfect. I am perfect. Mean to be sinless, and you fight against it's because you're not his sheep. You can't hear his voice. You don't understand the word because you are the devil. You are a child of the devil. But you gonna profess it, but he gonna tell you he never even knew you. He'll tell you to depart from here because you was a work of iniquity. If you don't wanna be someone who spend all their time in church, get hold to a false doctrine, and doing all them works for God, all this preaching, pastoring churches and you know, evangelizing, you be doing all these works for him and you still not make it in because of your sin, because you thought that you can sin. That's a sad reaction to be doing all this stuff and you still end up in hell. And you thought that, you know, Jesus was with you. And you thought that you was you was serving him. But you're going to find out the hard way he never even knew you. That's her for feeling to be doing some service for someone and they don't pay you for your action. A lot of people are not going to get paid and not going to see what time life because they're a sin. I'm telling you right now, as a man of God, chosen by God to preach this gospel, that you got to repent and believe the gospel. Once you believe it, whatever it says, you do it. You say to be perfect, don't fight the truth. Just be perfect. Just depart from all your sins and be perfect. And the Bible tells us that the truth is going to make us free. It's going to take the truth to make you free. But you got to want to be free. Because if not, you're going to hear the Lord tell you to depart from him that he never knew you. Because the only people that's getting in... It's not the ones that's claiming his name because they, you know if it's the people that say if it's people they say it today a lot of people say they say oh man I got baptized I believe in Jesus but according to the Bible they not say it because it's on the those who do the will of the Father is going to the kingdom of heaven and those are the ones who have been born again who have got baptized in water and with the Holy Ghost or who live in holy who live in free from sin those are the ones who being who doing the true will of the Father if you're not doing that. If you're still in your sins, you're not doing the word of the Father. The word of the Father is not to stay in sin, but it's to be delivered from sin. So you can be raised up on the last day and have eternal life. And it's through Jesus Christ by believing on his name. In Jesus' name, I love y'all. I love you enough to tell you the truth. I love you enough to be hated because I don't want to see you lost. Because the blind is leading the blind right now. But I'm standing in the gap in, a, in the midst of a lost and perverse generation. And I'm claiming the name Jesus for I'm not ashamed of the gospel. For it's the power to salvation to those that believe. You got to believe this. Because it's the power. When you believe this, you're going to have salvation. You won't be ashamed of this gospel. Because I ain't ashamed of it. Now, I, wanna, I, I don't want the Lord telling me to, to pour from after all these preaching videos I did. Posting on Facebook and preaching. I'm doing evangelize on the streets. I don't want to hear him tell the part from me. They never knew me because I'd be hurt. And I refuse to burn in hell. And my mind made up that I'm going to serve the Lord no matter who leave me. No matter who I got to let go. No matter where I got to let go. No matter what I got to let go. What the precious thing or whatever. I'm letting it go. Because my soul is more important. So you got to make a choice today to do, to do the will of the Father. Or to stay in your sin. And Him tell you to depart from Him. He never knew you. And you be tossed in eternal fire forever. In Jesus name. Repent. 
or the Bible says you're going to likewise perish. Amen.